Question, the member for Humber River, Black Creek. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Government and Consumer Services. Now that John Tavares is on the Leafs roster, we all know. Thank you. We all know. We all know there will be a Stanley Cup parade here in Toronto next year. You heard it here first. But, but there is a but. After reading ongoing investigative reports that have shocked sports and music fans, not only in Canada but the United States as well, it's clear that most hockey fans, in my riding, won't be able to afford Maple Leaf tickets. Mm -hmm. This is because of unethical ticket scalping practices that have been not only tolerated but enabled by Ticketmaster. What is the minister doing about these unethical and unfair sales practices? Minister of Government and Consumer Services. Well, thanks, uh, thanks very much to the member opposite for the question. Finally, we found something that we can agree on with the NDP. And that is that the Leafs are going to win the Stanley Cup this year. I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier that uh, John Tavares is a member of the Buds here in Toronto this year as we commence on our Stanley Cup parade. I can tell you that what was happening previously with the Liberal government on the ticket sale issue wasn't actually helping those who wanted to attend sporting events and concerts and uh, other big events that were happening. Uh, this first came to light, actually, Mr. Speaker, when uh, the unfortunate diagnosis of Gord Downey of the tragically hip uh, uh, occurred, and the government made some changes to the Ticket Speculation Act uh, during that summer. I can tell you that our government is committed to working with the Minister of the Attorney General, our, our Attorney General here uh, in Ontario, and making sure that we bring in some legislation that has some teeth so we can keep ticket prices low for those who want to attend these events. Here, here. Supplementary. One of, the very, one of the very first things this government did when it assumed office was to block legislation that would have stopped scalpers from selling tickets for more than 50% of the face value. I don't remember the Premier telling anyone before the election he would do this. Why was it suddenly the government's top priority after the election to help Ticketmaster and the scalpers while hurting music fans and hockey fans? Minister. Speaker, uh, I, I should acknowledge as well that uh, this is the first question uh, from my critic, and I appreciate uh, the question in the legislature here uh, this morning. But, but I should say that um, you know what the Liberals used to do when they were the government of Ontario was they would bring in pieces of legislation that actually were just all about fluff. They made you feel like the government was actually doing something when Opposition clearly the legislation didn't do anything to attack the problem at hand, and that was ensuring that ticket prices remained affordable for the average person across the province. What we've done is we've paused the implementation until we can actually bring in legislation that's going to take these scalpers off the streets, that's going to take these scalpers offline. It's not just simply putting it down on a piece of paper and you're going to bring in legislation. You know, you actually have to have legislation that's enforceable. We're bringing in meaningful legislation yeah, yeah. for the people of Ontario. Yeah, yeah.